Today on the channel, it's official. Summertime is here with the Mattel SummerSlam 2022 set, and we're going to rank them in order of my least favorite to my favorite, and Bill Dominic. The spirit of the warrior will run forever. Kyle here and welcome back to the channel as we take a look at the entire Mattel 2022 SummerSlam Elite Wave. Of course, we're going to rank this entire wave from my least favorite to my favorite. But before we do that, we've got to put together Dominic Mysterio, the Build-A-Figure here. But remember, for all your Mattel needs and a whole lot more, hit up Wrestling Collector Shop. Use discount code Kyle and Kyle10 to save. But Dominic Mysterio is the build a figure here. We are going to rank the entire wave, Dominic included at the very end. But we got to put the build a figure wave together first, or the build a figure figure together first. Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh, but Dominic here, once again, another figure from SummerSlam 2005. Sensational Sherry, the only figure not from that series uh, or for that SummerSlam. Very interesting, but an iconic SummerSlam, of course. SummerSlam 2005. And this is Dominic as a kid. We all know recently we got Dominic as a grown-up or whatever you want to call him. We just recently got him. So pretty trippy to get a kid version in an adult version within like six months of each other. So very, very crazy there. But a cool moment in time, deep, deep cut. You guys in the comments, let me know your thoughts on this. Do you like this idea? Would you rather seen him as an accessory or maybe a two-pack or maybe a basic two-pack, a showdown pack? Do you like the Build-A-Figure aspect? Or would you rather seen somebody else in the Build-A-Figure line? I don't know, sound off below. But it's interesting enough. I like what they did here. Very, very interesting. We've seen small figures as Build-A-Figures in Marvel Legends, and usually those aren't the most popular Build-A-Figures. Most people want Build-A-Figures. They want giant figures. They want something special. Uh, you know, Marvel Legends did Puck from Alpha Flight. I think Hip Monkey was one. They've had a few small ones that didn't really go over as well. I don't know how well Dominic will go here. Some interesting accessories of this one, and of course we unboxed all these figures on the channel. If you missed any of them, go back, check those videos out. This is going to be the end video of the series. Uh, but like Randy Orton came with this shirt, and I thought this shirt was very cool. You could use this with other figures if you really wanted to. Uh, I talked about Kenny Omega. Who knows? Do whatever you want. Uh, but Dominic did go together very easily. Sometimes they do fight you. We've had before where arms just happen to fall off, stuff like that. This seems to be, as of right now, very, very tight as far as the body goes. Uh, it's very interesting, very small body, as you know. Uh, all the pieces do fit together. I'm going to put his shirt on him right now. What an iconic shirt for old uh, Dominic Mysterio. I wonder if he still has this in his closet somewhere. Uh, he could probably sell this on eBay and make a fortune. Everybody, oh, this is the shirt I wore when my custody was on the line. Most people have a suit if they're in a custody dispute, but not old Dominic. He's got his uh, nicest kind of Hawaiian-type shirt going on there. Very big collar on this one, too. Oh, caught up on his thumb. There it is. No extra accessories for Dominic, unfortunately. We didn't get an extra set of hands. Uh, no fisted hands for Dominic, which is really a shame. We need fists on these little kids, of course. Uh, we did try we did try uh, Dominic's head on Ray, which was I thought was pretty interesting. Uh, it did look strange. But, yeah, it's definitely Dominic Mysterio. If you ask me who this is in this outfit with the shirt on, I'm going to tell you it's Dominic Mysterio all day long. This looks like Dominic Mysterio from this 2005 SummerSlam. If you gave me just the head, I might be a little perplexed not knowing what you're talking about. But when you add that shirt, it reminds me of him right off the bat. Very interesting. Single joints here. No double jointed action, anything like that. Small hands, as you can imagine. He does kind of have that baggy jeans thing going on, much like Rey Mysterio. I got the baggy pants. Uh, and then you get uh, double jointed knees going on, but they are not pinless joints. Uh, all the uh, typical articulation going on. You got ankles, you got thigh cut, bicep cut, cut. You got the ab crunch, you got the waist moving the head, of course, removable. Uh, very, very interesting. And it, he does have a really good head scan. You get that iconic kind of yeah, bleach blonde Eminem type hair going on. A very sad, down and depressed looking Dominic is what you get here, though. He's very, very sad looking. But as far as what it is, not chat, not too bad. I don't mind this at all. It, it's kind of tongue in cheek, a little bit funny. Does he fit on a stand? He better, and he does. Uh, it is strange. It is a little bit off the beaten path, a little bit off the wall. Honestly, if you could have said, hey, would you rather have Slick as a build a figure, the manager, or Captain Lou Albano, or something like that? Yeah, I'm going to take those over Dominic. for, But for what it is, it is kind of a cool moment in time. And for the generation that grew up with this being their Warrior Hogan type feel, you know what I mean? 
uh, I could see people wanting this, and it's very cool for Dominic fans as well, as he has his own fan base now. Uh, they want all versions of Dominic. Well, here you go. You get the kid version, but very, very cool. Of course, you can't have this. You got to do comparisons, and of course, you got Dominic today, and you got Dominic way back in the day. So you can compare these two a little bit. I think that is uh, pretty fun to do. Of course, I went to. This is probably all reused. They're probably just going back to the Hornswoggle mold, just re-releasing it. And I grabbed Hornswoggle here, and that's not quite the case. I thought it was, but it is not. He is taller than Hornswoggle. Uh, different body, different limbs, different arms, all that kind of stuff. It is totally different. Uh, than Hornswoggle here. So a lot more new tooling than I was expecting with this Dominic figure, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, of course, we got El Torito, and El Torito got three figures. Can you believe that? We got brown, white, and red. I got the brown one here. He is still taller than them, but you can have a little match going on if you want to. These two, you know, they don't get along. They'll get a WLC match going. We can put Dominic in that mix, too, for some of our smaller wrestling figures. And then most recently, AEW beating him by the punch by about a month or so. We got, of course, Negative One uh, from the Dark Order, of course. So you can put him next to Dominic. And I don't know. Uh, how, do, how do we think this scales exactly? Dominic, how old was he here? And Negative One, how old is he here? Uh, it feels like he is way smaller than Dominic. So something's missing between the scale here. My gut tells me I might be wrong, but I think he is older than Dominic is here. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but negative one seems a little bit small next to Dominic. For those of you who are keeping track at home, we're comparing the two here. Uh, but an interesting little man squadron right here, but very, very cool. Getting figures in all shapes and sizes, I'm here for that all day long. I love giants, but I love the little guys too, and that's what we got here with Dominic. Pretty darn cool if you ask me. I'm here for it. So there's Dominic. Now we got to dive in. We got to rank the entire wave from my least favorite to my favorite. All right, the time has come. It's time to rank the entire SummerSlam Mattel Elite Wave from 2022 from my least favorite to my favorite. You guys have been through this before. Make sure you put yours in order in the comments down below and let me know your thoughts as well. An interesting lineup. A lot of 2005 SummerSlam figures here except for Sensational Sherry. And honestly, as much as I like this Sherry, I wish she would have been maybe in a Legends line or something. Why not just call this the 2005 SummerSlam wave and grab the Hulkster or somebody else and put them in here and just have it a specific SummerSlam wave of 2005? Now, you're close enough. You might as well do it. You can share that home, celebrate that. So I do think that is a little bit of a miss from Mattel. Like I said, as much as I like that sensational Sherry, you know they could have found another home for her if they really need to. But all in all, an interesting one. I don't. This is very interesting because there are only four figures with the Build-A-Figure. They're kind of one-off waves. A lot of reuse going on except for Sherry once. Once again uh, on these ones so you got a lot of reuse not a lot of reinventing the wheel not a lot of big time surprises but still cool the, nonetheless and i like it that this gets us another elite set in 2022 where like i said before traditionally this is part of a normal elite wave so four extra figures we wouldn't have got last year that we are getting this year because if you do the math that's kind of how you figure that out but without further ado let's start ranking them in order we got five figures here and we always start with my least favorite that would be the number five one and i'm going to actually go to Shawn michaels at number five something about it i'm not a huge fan of the head scan on this sean michaels the big hands as well not a lot of extra meat on the bone here we've had a lot of similar sean michaels we've had a lot of sean michaels from this era that being said he's got a lot of iconic looks that have never been touched in figure form from mattel i want the little dutch boy i want the brown pants i want the street fight gear against triple h the comeback match there's a lot of michaels i would like over this one and maybe i'm hoping for those so this one didn't cut it for me I don't know, but it is an iconic match. Him and the Hulkster, of course, at SummerSlam was a big deal, uh, but it is what it is. And for me, not a lot of meat on the bone for the Shawn Michaels, so he's going to come in at number five. But then we got to go to number four. And number four for me, I'm going Randy Orton. And Randy Orton, nothing against this figure once again. I said, I'm coming around to Randy Orton after all these years, of course. And very cool. It's cool enough, Randy Orton, celebrating his first title win, of course, 2005 SummerSlam once again. But not a ton of meat on the bone with Randy Orton over the years as we get a lot of the same type figures, different tights, and that's about it. So there's not a lot of wow factor to this Orton. Still a very solid figure. Still really cool. Like I said, the salmon color, orange color uh, trunks. Very iconic, at least to me, maybe to you out there as well. Uh, but I do find that to be an interesting look. Uh, so that's him at number four. We're going Randy Orton. But now we got to go to number three. And who's going to be the number three one? Ooh, boy, I don't know. Uh, 
this is, uh, I'm going to go Rey Mysterio. Well, why wouldn't we? We'll go Rey Mysterio here. Rey Mysterio, once again, not a huge fan of this body mold. It just doesn't do it for me for whatever reason. A little looseness in the in the uh, ab crunch, not deal breaker. We've seen that before, uh, but it's okay. I prefer the Mohawk Ray. I know I'm an anomaly. A lot of you guys don't like Mohawk Ray, but I like Mohawk Ray. So there it is. Uh, but cool enough, but I still prefer the Jax version, even though this version is cool enough, right kind of in the middle there. But number uh, three for me, Rey Mysterio. Now we're down to the final two. Who's it going to be? Is it going to be the female or the kid? Oh, you never know who might win. But I know who's winning today. The female's winning. As I'm going number two with Dominic. Dominic wins here and gets so far up the list because it's such a moment in time. It's such a one-off crazy wacky figure and we need that we need that break from normalcy we need the breaks from these Shawn michaels we get all the time and stuff and getting something totally different is exciting to me and that's why he's at number two and a pretty cool one i can see a lot of people playing with figure photography doing some body swaps head swaps things like that i think you can get pretty creative with this dominic figure if you really want to so that should be fun for a lot of customizers and figure photographers out there in the future but dominic's coming in at number two which leads Sensational Sherry at number one. Now, female figure, manager figure, I'm all in. We need more manager figures. Very iconic Sherry look. Very cool sculpting throughout. There's just so much to like about this. Of course, I grew up in the era of Sherry, so I loved her as a, well, I hated her as a kid, like I said in the review, but I've come around all these years later, and I think it's absolutely fabulous we got this version here. We got it from Jack's Class Superstar. Still a great figure. This one great as well. This one takes the Duke for me at number one. Just more of this Mattel. I'm all in for things like this. More managers, the better, if you ask me, and probably a lot of you guys out there as well. So that's my list. What is your list? Put it in the comments down below, and make sure you put it in order. That's the hard part, but that's what you got to do. And, of course, you made it this far. You might as well like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the old notification bell, follow along on Patreon where you can get this video much, much earlier. Of course, exclusive videos, bonus material, and, of course, you support the channel. And don't forget the giveaways as well. Follow along on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter and Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. And, of course, ProWrestlingTees.com. So, for SummerSlam 2022, I'm Kyle. Enjoy your summer. Yes? Um, I'm almost done, but I don't have, to, I don't have time to make the turn or not. Well, it's 3.08. I know. So, so Can you get them or no? I'm sitting in the basement, but what time do they get out? 3.30? Where are you at? What turn? Like, I don't know if I can make it there by 3.25 to make the turn to get into the parking lot. Oh. So I'd have to, like, get in the long line, I'm saying. I don't think I can make it from Target Mill Civic to our school. By 25. Okay, and you think I can, I guess? Uh, yeah, it takes five minutes from our house to get to school. Okay, I'll head there right now. Okay. Bye. Bye.